since 1948. The National Wrestling Alliance has historically been the largest sanctioning body in professional wrestling. Hello again everybody, Jack Johnson along with Nick Nitrous and you are watching Southern All-Star Wrestling from Millersville, Tennessee. And tonight, Nick, we've got some fantastic tag team action. About the debut of Chaos. Chaos is debut tonight. We've also got Vordell Walker in action against Josephus Brody. And in a great night of action right here, but it's all leading up to this. July 26th, the return of the world champion, the Iron Man, Rob Conway, taking on none other than the natural Chase Stevens in the Music City Showdown. It is time, Nick Nitrous. It is time. It is showtime. And so starts now. Gentlemen, say it. Look at that. Look, the light in both ears. Wow. 
Oh, look at the lightning bolt kid overhead. Oh, look out here, Jack Johnson. The former NWA champion shows the lightning bolt kid who's in charge early on. Oh, look at Lance Erickson. <laughs> and look at the big Canadian knocking Justin Granberry out with one kick. There's no more Canadian on. This is just Lance Erickson. There's no more experience. This is Damian Wayne. Together they are Lords of Chaos. And you see. chaos right now in the lightning bolt kid. And for Justin Granberry, you almost feel sorry for the guys. But they didn't even get started. These are two monster men with experience. Granberry's never got a chance to even get on the ring. Oh, he looks bad over there. It's almost laughing. Oh! Back elbow by Erickson. Lightning bolt kid gets no. He gets grounded early on. No chance to strike. Here's the uh, tag. Unbelievable, Jack Johnson. Toho. Wait a minute. The former NWA champion. Oh, coming with a big elbow across the back. Granberry cannot even climb up on the outside. And, and once again, Justin Granberry with no luck whatsoever in even getting in this match. And this match should be over because Wayne had a chance to pin the lightning bolt kid there. But, oh, picked him back up for the big shot. Raise the roof, Damian Wayne. Poor oh, Granberry. And once again, Granberry never getting a chance to see the mat, the light, or nothing else. Oh, wait a minute. The lightning bolt kid, he's, he's striking back and hard. Big poke to the eyes right there. Well, to no avail, the lightning bolt kid, oh, right on over in the second row and pick his jaw up, Jack Johnson. You know, he got up as well as the lightning bolt kid ever has. It was kind of like he put his own move right there. Granberry again, takes the big boot, spells to the outside. He's not been inside yet. Now Erickson. Erickson coming in. It looks like this one might be over quick. Uh-oh. Oh! And big here body he drop. What a body drop from the team of the Lord of Chaos. The Lords of Chaos are taking oh, side Russian legs. Wave looks, but no, wait a minute. Oh, I've not. These two men work together incredibly well. Granberry trying again. Erickson again knocks him down. One, two, and the lightning bolt kid somehow gets up. Oh, makes, makes a good move out of it. Oh. Lightning bolt kid, is he still alive? Head just bouncing off the mat. Now Erickson tagging back in. Wayne and Erickson, the Lords of Chaos. Lightning bolt kid trying to strike right there. Oh, lightning bolt kid. Two on one, comes with a DDT and the cover. Oh, Erickson messes up. Plows the elbow into Wayne. Credit lightning bolt kid with some brains right there. Swing and a miss by Erickson. Lightning bolt kid spinning heel kick, but it did not connect. It just made Erickson mad. He's angry. Running Larry at him. Oh, Granberry comes into the picture. Can't do it. He can't get inside, but pulls down the top rope, and Erickson spills to the outside. Now Granberry going up to the top turnbuckle. He's wobbly, but high cross body on Wayne. Makes the cover. One, two, and no. Wayne rolls out. Granberry. Just glad to be in the ring right now. He tried so hard to get in. Now he and Lightning Bolt Kid set. Wait for the right double drop kick. And Granberry makes the cover, hooks the leg. Wayne rolling out again. Erickson on the outside. He's dead. Lightning Bolt Kid. Whoa! Erickson grabs Granberry. Wayne stops the Lightning Bolt Kid. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Still no Justin Cranberry. Backbreaker right there. And what is Wayne doing? Wayne's going oh, to... wait a minute. Is this the finisher they've been, they've been talking about? Oh. And they're right there. That's a no-brainer, Jack Johnson. That is it, Nick Nitus. we got to see that one more time. Erickson with a hold. Man, take a look at this run here. <laughs> As a tag team here at Southern All-Star Wrestling, there's more action left to come. Stay tuned. Don't go away. You're watching.
NWA Southern All-Star Wrestling this Friday night, July the 26th, special 7.30 bell time at the Song Hill Arena. It's the Music City Showdown. The NWA World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as the Iron Man Rob Conway returns to take on the natural Chase Stevens. Bordell Walker defends the national championship against Damian Adams, returning to the sawmill after a five-year hiatus. Also, the debut of Godzilla, Jax Dane. Also featuring television champion Chris Michaels, Kevin Weatherby, Shane Williams, tag team champions LT Falk, and Jason Nation, Big Time Sexy, The Untouchables, and many, many more. You'll want to get there early for the best seats. Special 7.30 bell time. All seats are only $10. This is the one. It's what all the hype. It's what all the talk is about. Conway Stevens 2 for the NWA Championship. The Music City Showdown this Friday night. Welcome back, everybody. What a debut for the Lords of Chaos right there, Nick Nitrous. But the action is coming up big this Friday night. You're exactly right, Jack Johnson. The Iron Man, Rob Conway, makes his return to the sawmill. Last time, him and the natural Chase Stevens went up here straight 30 minutes. This time, it's a whole hour. And right here tonight, you will get a word from none other than Rob Conway. Let's take you to that right now. You are looking at the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. Now I'm looking forward to coming back to NWA Salt right there in Millersville, Tennessee, July 26th. See, last time I was there, Chase Stevens, a great wrestler, a man I have respect for, we went to a 30-minute television time limit draw. He's the only man that I haven't beaten with an ego trip since I became the champion. Nakanishi, Kojima, Chris Masters, the great Ricky Morton, they all went down to the ego trip. Now this time when I come on the 26th, it's going to be a 60 minute time limit match. Now this time, there's not going to be a draw. The Iron Man is going to drop him on his neck with an ego trip. Whether I respect him or not, it's not going to keep me from winning that match. Now here's the thing. When you're in the NWA, in order to be the man, you got to beat the Iron Man. And it's easier said than done. I'm walking in the NWA's World Heavyweight Champion, and I'm walking out with my head held high in this championship still around my waist as the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. This is my very first World Heavyweight title match. And I stand here in this square circle knowing I belong at your level. Millsville, don't just applaud me. Applaud the only man in the world that can carry a real gold title. Screw your Monday nights. Screw your Thursday nights. This right here is where the hard work, the sweat and the tears begin and end. And this man right here travels worldwide and carries that gold title with pride. And I thank you for allowing me to get in the ring with you, sir. It's an honor. I've been all over the world. Hey, good for you, brother. World traveler. And I know a little bit about a lot of stuff. But I know a lot about class. And I know a lot about style. And this might have been your first World's Heavyweight Championship match. But whether it's against me or whether it's against somebody else around the world, I guarantee it's not going to be your last World's Heavyweight Championship match. Right here... And NWA Southern All-Star Wrestling, right here in Millersville, Tennessee, you've got the best talent in all the world. And you've got the best wrestler in the world that hasn't signed his name on a dotted line because he's a rebel and he wants to do what he wants to do, wherever he wants to do it, whenever he wants to do it. Because I know for a fact, I've been studying his matches for a long time when I found out I was going to wrestle you. The name says it all. In this ring, you are the natural. Yeah. 
You ever thought you might have what it takes to be a professional wrestler? If so, Middle Tennessee, you finally have a qualified professional to teach you everything you need to know. I'm Wolfie D, and I have over 22 years experience inside the squared circle, and I've worked for all the major companies. Whether you're a beginner looking to get started or an indie wrestler looking to step up your game, I can and I will give you the tools to succeed. So don't look back one day and say, I could have been. Make your dreams a reality at Wolfie D's House of Champions. I can't hear you make some noise! in history, Rob Conway, the natural Chase Stevens, oh Nick Nitro's done a little snooping, He done a little investigating reporting, he has been on Facebook all week, and I got a few questions for this man, Saul Mill, put your hands together, make a little noise for the Nitro's Noise segment's guest tonight, the natural Chase Come on, Sawmill! I can't hear you! the natural Chase Stevens. Let me be the first to shake that man's hand. Welcome to the Nitro's Noise segment, brother. You are blown up all over the world. If you viral Chase Stevens, you're going to find the natural's face everywhere. But... Rob Conway, brother, I was here the night history was made. I was here when you took the man to the limit. I was here when you put his shoulders on the mat just short of time running out. The belt should have been yours and wasn't yours. Everybody in TV land, everybody in the mill saw this, brother. They saw that man get up and shake your hand. But the problem lies, Chase Stevens. Rob Conway has put it out there. He said for 30 minutes you may be the man, but for an hour you're going to fall just short. He's coming back for the Stevens Rob Conway round two, July 26th, next Friday night. Now, I know along with each and every one of these fans, when I say Chase Stevens, the natural is the man. I'm not taking nothing away from Rob Conway, but brother, he's coming into your house. He's coming into your home, and he's talking smack on the fly, Chase Stevens. He said that you would fall short at 59 minutes. So Nick Nitro's in the Nitro's North segment. He's got 101 questions, and the one question I got for you, Chase, natural, the man, Stevens. What you got, son? 17 years you people have watched me make myself a star. I stand before you and I took your heavyweight champion for 30 minutes and he didn't pin me to the mat. He's a damn good heavyweight champion. But I stood tall. I picked him up and I shook his hand like a man. Rob Conway, you call yourself the Iron Man. Well, 60 minutes, 
Let's see what you got. Because you didn't beat me in 30, you sure as hell ain't gonna beat me in 60. If you hear it, Chase Stevens shooting down the pipe. Rob Conway is a 60 minute match. The natural is ready. Chase Stevens, next Friday night, brother, me, along with each and every one of you out there at TV land, each and every one of you in the sawmill, we're going to see what you've got, brother, when you take it straight to the Iron Man, Rob Conway, from Chase Stevens. I'm putting that belt on. 20 pounds going around my waist. July 26th, be here. You heard what he said? This is Nick Nutchin. This is Millerville, Tennessee. This is the natural Chase Stevens. Sawmill. <laughs> I can't hear you. Touch of Class Auto Sales, located at 621 Old Hickory Boulevard E. Our number is 615-612-7635. down on most vehicles, home of 0% interest, financing on all auto loans. $50 weekly notes. Come see Bruce, Sherry, and Tim today at Brewster's Touch of Class Auto Sales. Yes, you're approved. Welcome back everybody, Jack Johnson along with Nick Nitrous, and we just saw the Nitrous Noise segment with Chase Stevens, and it was tremendous. Stevens looks like he's more focused than ever to go after that world title. But wait a minute, Jack, that's not all. We've got something huge. We've got something monstrous. We've got something coming in from San Antonio, Texas. We have got debuting the vanilla Godzilla, none other than Jack Dane. Let's take a look at him right now. Attention everyone, this is an emergency broadcast. The unpleasant noise you are about to hear coming from your radio is not a mistake. Please do not turn off your radio, but turn up the volume on your receiver as high as it can go. SAW management decided that the untouchables just weren't ready for the title match. You see, SAW management is a little about how the way things went last time with Team IOU. They got a little upset because they think the untouchables were a little upset and overreacted about what we did. About how we bashed Carrie Awful, that little mutt. About how he bashed the skull. Nick Iggy, we beat him in the middle of the ring to a pulp. And if it wasn't for the same, what you call tag team champions, getting in our way, we were going to finish. Because our fight, it's not with the IOU. We'll bring it all the way. But we're not in it to win tag matches anymore. We've won tag matches. We've beaten Team IOU. And we've beaten the tag team champions. Let's recap how it all went down. Jeremiah Plunkett, in the middle of that ring, had you beat. One, two, three, new tag team champions. Different story, different results. Team IOU, this could have never happened. But because of the tag team champions, that two-man combination, if they stay get in the ring with a real tag team, thinks that they can walk away and not have to defend the belts from us. Team IOU, remember, this is not your fight. This is about gold. This is about what we've been saying all along. The Untouchables are the best tag team going at professional wrestling. Every other two-man combination can't touch us in that ring. Tell them, Jeremiah. Now let's talk about tag teams. Tag teams have always been something lacking in salt. So what they do is they stick two people together. 
So now we've got tag team champions that are just some two-man combination. LT Falk and Jason Nation. Yeah, they, they went out and they finally gave themselves a name, but they're not a tag team. Okay, so then we've got Team IOU, a boy and his dog. They're not a tag team, but they're two kids living a dream. Then, now, we've got this team called Mayhem, which by, quite frankly, is a terrible name. Mayhem, Hammerjack and Hammerjack Jaster. Boys, I don't care if it's Mayhem, 100% Sensational, IOU, all we care about is having those NWA Southern Tag Team Championships around our waist, and you've seen that we'll do whatever it takes, whatever it takes to get them. You ready for Mayhem? Team IOU, we're gonna show you Mayhem, and we're taking those gold. You shine those belts up real nice for us. You bring that camera real close for this. This is just for you and any other two-man tag team combination, whatever you wanna call yourself. We're taking the gold. Untouchable. NWA Southern All-Star Wrestling this Friday night, July the 26th, special 7.30 bell time at the Song Hill Arena. It's the Music City Showdown. The NWA World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as the Iron Man Rob Conway returns to take on the natural Chase Stevens. Bordell Walker defends the national championship against Damian Adams, returning to the sawmill after a five-year hiatus. Also, the debut of Godzilla, Jax Dane. Also featuring television champion Chris Michaels, Kevin Weatherby, Shane Williams, tag team champions LT Falk, and Jason Nation, Big Time Sexy, The Untouchables, and many, many more. You'll want to get there early for the best seats. Special 7.30 bell time. All seats are only $10. This is the one. It's what all the hype. It's what all the talk is about. Conway Stevens 2 for the NWA Championship. The Music City Showdown this Friday night. Hello again, everybody. Jack Johnson along with Nick Nitrous. And you know, Nick, everyone is talking about the world championship picture. But we've got another big match. We've got the national NWA title holder, Bordell Walker. He's taking on a man that hasn't stepped foot in the sawmill in five years. You're exactly right, Jack Johnson. There's an interesting fact about Damian Adams. He was the first ever international champion right here at Saw, defending against none other than that ring record, Bordell Walker, the longest running international champion, that most successful defending champion that Saw has seen. And right here coming up, let's take a look at Damian Adams. A certain opponent, you know, not unlike a uh... Uh, a lower ranked basketball team. And here he comes. Basketball here he comes. Damian Adams. It's ready. Ring that bell. My goodness, Ricky Bell, the referee, calling for the bell, but action had already started. Nore Havoc and Damian Adams. Adams turns around. Havoc got, whoa, what a lariat. What a lariat he lapped into. And he's got Nore Havoc on the ropes already. Damian Adams. Is getting it late to him right now. He has landed to Norray Havoc going on all four corners there. Look out, Norray doesn't know what to think. I think this is called being beat pillar to post. And Damian Adams, the Puerto Rican superstar, going right to work on Norray Havoc, and the champion is in trouble already. And you see, as we see, Michael St. John, you see around ringside there is no Paul Adams. No Paul Adams. It's going to make a difference in this match, although I'm sure Norray Havoc would like to think it doesn't. Maybe maybe secretly Norray Havoc is saying, this is my chance to prove something. I don't need Paul Adams at ringside for a big match, at least not every time. Norray Havoc, of course, now slowing down Damian Adams as Damian Adams was really going after it. And uh, Norray Havoc all of a sudden takes one shortcut and Damian Adams, he turns the tables and Damian Adams in trouble. Look at this. Well, he saw, oh, this could be a spike pile driver instead, shoulder breaker. And Damian Adams is down. Damian Adams down right now with that Norray Havoc shoulder breaker. Norray Havoc defending that TV title solo like he should be defending it. No Paul Adams at ringside. And he's doing pretty well right now. It started out in a flurry. But now Norray Havoc looks to have the upper hand. You know, I, you have to give the champion his due. And he would have to say he would be favored in any match because he is the champion just like in a football game. And so many times you see that underdog or that the one that is not favored in a football game come out and give a whale of a first quarter. And then by the second quarter, he starts to wear down. And then it really comes down to the fourth quarter. Very similar to what happens in a wrestling ring in a championship match as if we have today. As Norray Havoc right now, things going his way, but don't count Damian Adams out. Damian Adams truly a determined individual. Like you say, Michael John, there's a certain ebb and flow to every sport, whether it be football, basketball, wrestling, whatever. Some parts, you know, you get a hit, a team gets a hit, a man gets a hit. Uh, there's that, uh, you know, the comeback. 
And uh, it just depends at the end. What matters is the last, you know, couple of minutes, last two minutes or so, when somebody really reaches back and pulls it out, pulls it all out of the, uh, pulls out all the stops. And is it going to be Damian Adams or Norray Havoc today? Look at that move as he picked him up. He was going to slam him to the mat in a, in a power slam. And as he went into it, he just put that knee out and it became a backbreaker. And so uh, that choke slam gets turned into a backbreaker. And Norray Havoc taking a few shortcuts here. And uh, unlike uh, the match that we saw last week where uh, Adams maintained a real position of power throughout the match and then ended up getting robbed at the end, this match has really been dictated by the champion, Norway Havoc, and he's got a sleeper hole or a modification of such in that reverse chin lock right now. We got to say right now, Norway Havoc looking pretty good, you know, as you knew he would. Great athlete and, and, a, and still, like I said, the champion, not relying on any outside interference right now. This is going to be determined, hopefully, right in the middle of the ring. Side saddle suplex by Adams, and now both men are prone on the mat, and the referee starts to count on both of them. And that is something I'm sure neither, although it would benefit Havoc. Of course, the title cannot change hands on disqualification. But Havoc right now sent into the ropes and caught with the elbow. And Adams with a double bolo chop. We saw him throw a lot of those last week. Scoop slam. Down goes Havoc. And there goes Adams. And we know he can fly. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I was here with Reno Riggins. And we were talking about how Damian Adams. Oh! Kick. Whoa! How that guy, Michael St. John, has it, whatever it is, Damian Adams has it. And right there, Damian Adams has his chance to win the belt, but Norway Havoc extremely close to the outside of the ring. He just caused the break because he put his hand under that rope. And Adams now trying to maintain the momentum on Havoc now being sent to the floor. And Norway uh -oh. Havoc is down and out on the floor. The referee trying to keep Damian Adams in the ring. And of course, starting the count. Again, you gotta remember that a title in Southern All-Star Wrestling can only change hands with a pinfall or a submission. And what do we have here? Norray Havoc acting like he Wait may have pulled a hamstring. Wait a minute, Something's here comes the A-team. The A-team is coming out. Norray Havoc is acting like he may have hurt his knee. Now he has a brace on that knee. Adams is out here with Rick Santel and Hammerjack. You know what I don't understand, Michael? If you're banned from ringside, aren't you banned from ringside no matter what? I mean, I, I know there's an injury possibly, but... Uh... Wait a minute. Adams is trying. The referee coming over to check, and he's the referee's going to order Norray Havoc back in the ring. He's still got to get back in the him. ring by 10. Right. right. But uh, apparently Norray Havoc has hurt, and Paul Adams is out with his troops. Wait a minute. Here comes... Here comes Adams, turns around Hammerjack, and now Whoa. just nailed him with one. Here's one for Santel coming up. Oh, wow. He's going to grab Barry Havoc and throw him back in the ball. Adams is banned from ringside. And now Adams going after Adams, if you would, and Norray Havoc thrown back in the ring. It's a, it's a real mix-up between the Adams family there. If you, you could so hey, Wait a minute. The referee's saying the bell is supposed to be ring. The referee is calling the bell. He is calling for the bell. Again, confusion what here. Got here. Mass confusion again in a match revolving around Adams and Norway Havoc. Adams looks like he's going to get his hand raised, Jack. Well, he should. Well, there he is. So he does. He gets the win. But was Norway Havoc maybe was counted out? Is that what we're going to see? Have you or a loved one been arrested and are facing criminal charges? There's just one name you need to know. Attorney Brian Lee Nash. Whether it's a citation, DUI, assault, drugs, or immigration matter, take action now. We'll fight for your rights and freedom. If you're facing misdemeanor or felony charges in state or federal court, don't wait. The sooner we get involved, the better the chances are for a successful outcome. Consultations are free. Will you be? Call 615-628-7555 today. 628-7555 today. We are, we are back and we are live. The cave woman, Abriella, bottled by the big man, and here is the official
Mike Johnson along with Nick Dacher. She are watching Gordell Walker, the NWA national champion right now, in the ring with Joe was Brody. Unbelievable action right here in Saul. You got Bordell Walker, you got Joe Cephas Brody. But what about next week, Jack Johnson? Next Friday night, Music City Showdown, July 26. What about Bordell Walker? What about this new Damian Adams? Bordell, your reigning champ. Well, the greatest long and reigning champs out there, but what about Damian Adams? Very he was the first ever international champion. You know, that's now the Saw TV title. Damian Adams, the first guy ever, hasn't been over here in about five years or so. I'm telling you, man. Del Seep was brought in Bordell Walker in the ring right now. Your NWA national heavyweight champion, the ring record. Bordell Walker, the action is about to get underway. We're trying to get Josephus Brody to get his chain out of the ring. Well, as you see, Josephus Brody with that big chain, he needs to lay the chain down, go to work. And you see Jack Johnson, he's looking at you, Jack. I don't think he's looking at me. He assaulted me earlier with it, with his clothing attire. And, you know, Abriel on the outside of the ring right here, the action. Wait a minute, here we go, Jack Johnson. There's the bell. Wow. These two big men in the ring. You know, we've got great action next week. Next Friday night, Music City Showdown, June live. 26. What about Bordell Walker? What about this new Damian Adam? Bordell, your reigning champ. One of the reigning long and reigning champs out there, but what about Damian Adams? Very he was the first ever international champion. You know, that's now the Saw TV title. Damian Adams, the first guy ever, hasn't been over here in about five years or so. I'm telling you, man, Jack, the, the hype is real, but listen to this crowd out here tonight. Next Friday night, Music City Showdown, June live. 26. What about Bordell Walker? What about this new Damian Adam? Bordell, your reigning champ. One of the reigning long and reigning champs out there, but what about Damian Adams? Very he was the first ever international champion. You know, that's now the Saw TV title. Damian Adams, the first guy ever, hasn't been over here in about five years or so. I'm telling you, man, Jack, the, the hype is real, but listen to this crowd out here tonight. When a special stipulation will be decided. Are you ready? Right before the match, Jack Johnson. I said that clearly, didn't I? Right before the match. So vote all week long. Sawmill Extreme, Sawmill Page, you've got to make some noise right there, Jack Johnson. The fans get to vote on what kind of matches they want to see, as we see right now. Here's a match they want to see. Bordell Walker, the ring wrecker, and Joe Cephas Brody. And Joe Cephas Brody, I'll say that twice. That's one mountain of a man right there. But you got Bordell Walker, the international heavyweight champion, after beating Rob Conway. After him and Rob Conway, the match they had. Unbelievable. Great match with Rob Conway. You know that match? Well, that belt, rather, was just defended in Japan. Then brought to Millersville. How many things go from Japan to Millersville? Talking about going halfway around the world. I tell you, I'm down like four flat tires. Well, I tell you what, the talent in Sawmill is down like four countries. Wardell Walker and Josephus Brody are locked up in a tenacious battle right in the middle of the ring going round and around and around. Wardell Walker with side headlock. Brody trying to gouge the, gouge the eyes of Walker. Oh, big shoulder tackle right there. Walker goes down. Abriella at ringside. And we get to see the cave woman get into any of this match, which is unlikely will happen, more than likely won't happen, but I can, t I can reverse that, say more than likely before the end of this match, we'll see a little action. Let me tell you, she has been active lately with that big bone she brings to ringside. We saw her choking Gary Valiant out with it the last time she was ringside. And now Walker, oh, wait a minute. Brody coming back with eye pokes, eye rakes, anything on the champion. Wrestling caveman style, what can you say? Josephus Brody. Brody, big chop right over the top of the head of Vordell Walker. You know, Vordell Walker, he burns up the road to defend that title. He is a fighting champion. What a vicious forearm to the chest of Vordell Walker. Oh, and there's another one, Jack Johnson. There's that chop, that axe height chop of Josephus Brody. Josephus trying to crack Vordell Walker. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here comes Gabriella West. She's choking him with that boat again. Unbelievable action, Jack! It's like she gets out of the cave once a week, and once she gets out, she's wild. Abriella choking Bordell Walker. Oh! With that bone head. There it is, Jack Johnson. Huge drop kicks from Bordell Walker. Bordell Walker, a house of energetic fire. And he 
has dumped Josephus Brody to the outside. He can't even find his cable, but he's looking around. Josephus Brody straightening up everything in the in the joint. I don't know if that took a little bit out of him. He's dazed right now. Josephus Brody clearly going for that chain. Is Josephus Brody? What is this all about, Jack Johnson? This is not a chain match. It's always a chain match with Josephus Brody. Let me tell you, you see the, I don't know if you can see the camera side, but he has some huge welts on his back. Boulevard e. Our number is 615-612-7635. down on most vehicles. Home of 0% interest. Financing on all auto loans. $50 weekly notes. Come see Bruce, Sherry, and Tim today at Brewster's Touch of Class Auto Sales. Yes, you're approved. And what an all-out action-packed crowd tonight, Jack Johnson. Great crowd tonight. Brody, Walker, exchanging blows. Oh, big scoop by Brody. Big slam by Brody. Brody rocks off the ropes right there, comes back slowly, makes the cover, giving Walker enough time to recover and kick up. You're exactly right, Jack Johnson. Brody went for the cover. We got a two count out of that. Brody not happy, but Vordell is down. And look crowd out here at the sawmill. Let me tell you, they are brutal, vicious on both these wrestlers, especially Josephus Brody, and the crowd distracts Brody. Brody has what we call in baseball rabbit ears. He hears it all. He lets it affect him sometimes. Well, Bordell went wait for a up minute. and over. He went for an up and uh -oh. over. Bordell caught him. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh! Big cover no. cover! Almost right there for Bordell Walker. Two counts, Jack Johnson. Two he almost had the pin. Big powerful back over. Oh, talk about the power of a big man. Josephus Brody just took Bordell Walker for the ride, Jack Johnson. Bordell Walker, the champion, but if you're a betting man, you know the old axiom, you'll take a good big man over a good smaller man any time. Not that Bordell Walker is a small man anymore. Bordell Walker is just a man. to muster up and kick out of that one, Jack Johnson. Just a powerful, powerful man these days. Bordell Walker, now he's rolling to the outside, but that's where Abrielli is. Oh, kick right to the ribs right there. And the numbers game once again. Oh, she's choking him again. Once again, Josephus Brody in the corner, distracting our referee. You know, Markham there has to get, there's got to be a review of referee. That's like the fourth time he's missed that. If he was an NCAA referee, he'd be out. He wouldn't be working the Final Four. Yeah, exactly he'd be out right, of here. Jack I mean, everybody misses a lot with all the action that goes on, but you can't four times miss Abriella choking. And here, here, here she is again, right there, ready to pounce on him. You just can't miss it that many times. It affects the outcome of a match. Brody oh. brings Walker in. By the neck. The power of that big man Brody just grabbing Bordell by the head and just throwing him in the ring. There's the cover. And you're right, Jack Johnson. How does a caveman outsmart a professional referee? He did it. Abriella did it. She's scaring fans and small children at ringside. I just saw her go to Young Boy over there, and he, let me tell you, that, that was kid the will never of his be life. the same. That kid will never be the same, Jack Johnson. But the entertainment's hot. It is hot. It is hot here in the sawmill. you got to come out and see this kind of action. Walker trying to get back up. Brody pulling him up by his ears right now. Why doesn't Brody finish this match? Looks like he's lining him up for another cocoa butt, but no, Walker blocks. The cocoa butt gives him one of his own. Right in the head with that big coconut. And I'll tell you what, we're splattering melons right here in the center of the ring. Going out looking for fire. Insiguri right to the back of the head. I say, wow, 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 Jack Johnson. Right to the softest part of the hip, well, belly to belly, and oh, what a suplex. Massive suplex. Belly to belly by Fordell Walker. He picked the big man up and threw him across Wait the ring. Wait a minute, what is that doing? Oh, she broke the bone. She broke the bone over Fordell. She threw it out in the crowd. Wait a minute, she's going wild. Wait a minute. Somebody get the net. Gordell Walker. 
she's like a wild animal. Oh! Vordell Walker, not usually a man that would treat a woman that way, but if it was ever deserved, she deserved it right there. The crowd loved it, and here comes Brody with a chain. And there's that chain coming in action. Gabriella is down. NWA Southern All-Star Wrestling this Friday night, July the 26th, special 7.30 bell time at the Saul Hill Arena. It's the Music City Showdown. The NWA World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as the Iron Man Rob Conway returns to take on the natural Chase Stevens. Bordell Walker defends the national championship against Damian Adams, returning to the sawmill after a five-year hiatus. Also, the debut of Godzilla, Jax Dane. Also featuring television champion Chris Michaels, Kevin Weatherby, Shane Williams, tag team champions LT Falk, and Jason Nation, Big Time Sexy, The Untouchables, and many, many more. You'll want to get there early for the best seats. Special 7.30 bell time. All seats are only $10. This is the one. It's what all the hype is, what all the talk is about. Conway Stevens 2 for the NWA Championship. The Music City Showdown this Friday night. Wait a minute, Jack Johnson. Ford out walk on retaliation. Don't go nowhere. He's not satisfied. Avery Ellis back to her feet. Ford out taking Joe Stevens Brody back into the ring. Has got that chain. Oh, big whip across the back. Ford out Walker going to work. Walker, nothing to lose here at this point. He retains the title, and he just wants to get Josephus Brody a taste of his own medicine, Jack Johnson. Bordell Walker having none of it. And what's Bordell he saying? Walker choking Josephus Brody, showing him he's not a man to be pushed around. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here comes Tim Thompson. Come on, security, do your job. Bordell Walker is enraged. He's a champion. He's not acting like one right now, but everyone knows why. Well, I wouldn't call this disorderly conduct at all, Jack Johnson. I would call this Bordell Walker taking a stand and not taking no more. Bordell Walker says a match is to Joseph with Brody. That's Brody, I'll be back with you. You want this to everybody? I'll be yeah. back. I'll be back with it. I'm not going to run from you. This is not the last time. This is just the beginning. Hey, fans, we had a great time here at Southern All Star Wrestling. Thanks for watching tonight. But coming up this Friday night, you got to come out to the live event because we've got the Music City Showdown. Hey, Nick, we're doing it. What, what, what do you mean, Jack Johnson? Next Friday night, hold on just a minute, pal. Next Friday night, man, the hype is real. Millersville, Tennessee, uh, Rob Conway, Jack Dane, Vanilla Godzilla, you got Chase Stevens. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, you're on Facebook, you're on Twitter, fan. The hype is real. Get out there, get somebody. Hold on just a minute, buddy. Uh, yeah, you've got to come, man. You've got to come. Check this out. Millersville, Tennessee. SAW, we are cut above the rim. Jack, I got to go, man. I've got people to tell. It's 24 7. It's Sawmill. It's live. It's Millersville, Tennessee. Maybe I'll holler at y'all on the flip.